kratom and suboxone, should these be combined? If you are opioid dependent and looking for a way to withdraw, you may consider using kratom or suboxone. These two substances have become popular choices in recent years, as they both offer certain benefits that can be helpful in withdrawal. But which one is right for you? Can you even take kratom and suboxone together? This video will discuss the benefits and side effects of kratom and suboxone to make an informed decision. Let us get started. Kratom is a tropical tree native to Southeast Asia. The leaves of the kratom tree have been used for centuries for their medicinal properties. It contains several alkaloids that are known to have therapeutic effects. These alkaloids include mitragenine and hydroxymitragenine. Both act on the opioid receptors in the brain. Think of kratom as an opioid partial agonist, similar to drugs like suboxone. It binds to the same receptors in the brain as opioids but does not produce the same level of effects. Kratom acts as a stimulant and a sedative, depending on the dose. At low doses, kratom acts as a stimulant, making users feel more alert and energetic. At higher doses, it can produce feelings of euphoria like an opioid and be used as a recreational drug. Kratom has also been used to treat pain and opioid dependence. In recent years, kratom has become increasingly popular in the West. However, it is still not well regulated or understood. For this reason, the FDA has not approved kratom for any medical use. There is no proof that it's a safe and effective treatment for any condition. It's worth noting that kratom is legal in some states, so people use it for different purposes. Kratom contains various alkaloids that produce different effects in the body. Some of the most common uses for kratom include alleviating pain, reducing anxiety and stress, boosting energy levels, aiding in digestive disorders, treating opioid dependence and withdrawal symptoms. There is currently no scientific evidence to support these uses, and kratom has not been FDA approved for any medical purpose. But many people believe and use kratom as an alternative medication for treating opioid addiction and managing opioid withdrawal symptoms. Kratom is often sold in powder or capsule form. It can also be made into tea or tincture. Kratom is an alternative to opioids for pain relief, and its effects are similar to those of opioids. Kratom can cause feelings of euphoria and sedation, as well as pain relief. However, kratom also has some severe side effects. Kratom is addictive, primarily if used in large doses or regularly. Kratom acts similarly to opioids in the brain and has been associated with opioid-like side effects and abuse potential. But since it's a partial opioid agonist, it's not as strong as drugs like heroin or oxycodone. And it will take more kratom to produce the same effects. Kratom addiction occurs when someone takes high doses regularly and when a person can no longer function without using it regularly. They may start to feel withdrawal symptoms when they try to stop using it. They may continue to use it despite adverse consequences. Kratom abuse can lead to serious health problems, including liver damage, seizures, and psychosis. Kratom dependence can lead to tolerance, meaning that you need more of the substance to feel the same effects. Withdrawal symptoms may occur if you suddenly stop taking kratom after using it regularly for an extended period. Kratom has been associated with several side effects, depending on the dose and frequency of use. Some of the most common side effects associated with low to moderate doses included higher energy levels, less feeling of exhaustion, nausea and vomiting, dry mouth, constipation, increased urination, itching and sweating, loss of appetite, drowsiness. Higher doses can lead to more severe side effects, including seizures, insomnia, liver damage, hallucinations, anorexia, psychosis, confusion, aggression. Kratom abuse can also lead to death, although they are pretty rare. In a 2018 study by the FDA, there were 18 recorded deaths associated with kratom throughout that year. Suboxone is an FDA-approved medication for treating opioid addiction that contains two active ingredients, buprenorphine and naloxone. Buprenorphine is an opioid partial agonist at the muopioid receptor, which activates the receptor to a lesser degree than other opioids, such as heroin or oxycodone. Naloxone is an opioid antagonist at the muopioid receptor, which blocks the effects of opioids. Suboxone is used to treat opioid dependence. 
It is typically prescribed for people who regularly take opioids such as heroin or oxycontin, oxycodone. Suboxone comes in films or tablets that dissolve under the tongue. The usual dose is one film or tablet per day. Suboxone treatment usually lasts 12 weeks but can be continued for more weeks if necessary. After completion of treatment, some people may need to take a lower dose of suboxone for detoxification, while others may require a higher dose. You must start suboxone treatment under the supervision of a licensed suboxone doctor. Suboxone treatment involves weekly appointments with a healthcare provider for monitoring and counseling. You must not take suboxone and kratom at the same time. Both drugs interact with the muopioid receptor, leading to dangerous side effects. Taking them together can also increase the risk of addiction and dependence on both drugs. The belief that taking them together will amplify each other's effects on managing opioid withdrawal symptoms is unfounded and could lead to severe consequences. It has not been proven safe. If you're seeking treatment for opioid addiction, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional to discuss the best course of treatment for you. So, which is better? As we have seen, both Kratom and Suboxone have pros and cons. Here is a quick overview. Available online or in stores without a prescription, not regulated by the FDA. Legal in some states, illegal in others. Not proven safe or effective for any medical use. Associated with many severe side effects. Addictive and lead to dependence. Lead to withdrawal symptoms if stopped suddenly. FDA regulated medication. Only available by prescription. Proven safe and effective for treating opioid addiction. With a lower risk of side effects than other medications used to treat opioid addiction. Not associated with any severe side effects when used as directed. Lead to withdrawal symptoms if stopped suddenly or tapered off gradually. If you're struggling with opioid addiction or going through kratom withdrawal, you must talk to a licensed suboxone doctor about your treatment options. Suboxone may be a good option for you if you're seeking a long-term treatment option. You want a medication that is proven to be safe and effective. You want to avoid the risk of severe side effects. Find a suboxone doctor online or in your area today. Simply enter your zip code or the area where you live into the search bar on our homepage to get started. Find a licensed suboxone doctor and start your journey to sobriety.